John 644 is one of the most used Bible verses to teach Calvinism because Jesus said that nobody can come to him unless they've been drawn by the Father. But I'm going to show you what Calvinists are getting wrong about this verse and why Jesus was not teaching irresistible grace or limited atonement or any other of the points of Calvinism. Hi, my name is David Cipriano. I'm a youth pastor and my goal is to teach the Bible to as many people as possible. I've made some videos before about why Calvinism is unbiblical and why each of the five points of tulip is a false teaching. And every time I debate the Bible with Calvinists, possibly the most common proof text that they bring up is John 6:44. It's where Jesus says, no man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him and I will raise him up at the last day. Calvinists will use this first to say that people aren't able to be saved unless they've been compelled by God, and that if a person isn't saved, then it's because God in his sovereignty didn't draw them to him, and that when God elects or draws a person, then they'll automatically and irresistibly respond to his call. But I'm going to show you why this is a false, unbiblical interpretation of the verse. Now, a major point of debate in John 6:44 is the meaning of the word draw. Now, the Greek word that's being used here is the word helko. And according to Calvinists, helco always means to compel or to drag, and it's understood that the one who is being drawn has no say or free will in the process. And this is the Calvinist teaching of irresistible grace, and they'll claim that this is what the word helco always means when you look at other verses. But when you really study how this word is used, that's not actually the case. The word helco is found eight times in the Bible, but in three of them, the object being drawn is an Animate. John 18.10 mentions Peter drawing his sword trying to defend Jesus, and John 21 talks of the disciples drawing their nets. Swords and nets are inanimate objects, so when Calvinists use these verses to teach that being drawn means that there's no free will, it's pretty deceptive. And then in three other verses where this word is found, draw refers to people being mistreated or abused. In Acts 16.19, some men had captured Paul and Silas because Paul cast a demon out of a girl. In Acts 21.30, a mob had captured Paul in an attempt to kill him. And in James 2.6, James talked about how the rich man oppressed people and dragged them before the judgment seats. So again, the word draw might seem to show that there was no choice, because the type of drawing being done here is about oppressing and abusing people. But clearly, this meaning of the word is not at all what John 6.44 is about when Jesus refers to the Father drawing people to salvation. So out of the eight times that the Bible uses the word helco or draw, three of them are about inanimate objects and three are about oppressing people. But in the other two verses, this is not the case. In these two verses, draw does not mean to forcibly compel or to drag. Words often have multiple meanings and nuances. And this is not eisegesis or me just trying to make the Bible fit my beliefs. That's just how languages work. For example, I could talk about running on a treadmill, running to the store, and running a business. And if you're familiar with English, you know that the word run means something different in all three of those cases, because that's just how languages work. And sometimes one word can have multiple meanings, and the way that you know the meaning is by understanding the context. And in the other two verses where we find the word helco or draw, the word has a different meaning than in the other verses. The one that we've already talked about is John 6:44. And the other one is John 12, 32, which further clarifies what Jesus said earlier. Jesus said, And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. This was a reference to his crucifixion, because the next verse says, This he said, signifying what death he should die. So in John 6, 44, and in John 12, 32, the word draw means to enable or to invite. Jesus is declaring that we were all drawn to him when he was lifted up on the cross. And this was not just him drawing the elect or those who'd be saved, but all of humanity, because God wants all to be saved, even though some will reject the gospel. Now, a Calvinist might say that in John 12, 32, all men refers to all the elect, but an unbiased reader would not have come to that conclusion just by reading the text. Calvinists have to write between the lines to make the Bible fit their view. Their system only works through eisegesis, imposing their beliefs onto the Bible 
Bible rather than just simply reading what the Bible says. This verse proves that the word draw does not always mean to compel or drag, because if it means what the Calvinists would say it does, then that would be universalism. This is the false heresy that everybody will be saved even if they haven't believed the gospel and accepted Christ as Savior. So in these two verses, the word draw means to invite or to enable. In John 6, 44, God the Father invites people to come to Christ. And in John 12, 32, Jesus on the cross is inviting all people to be saved. And unlike Calvinism, this interpretation is consistent with the rest of the Bible. Because if the drawing of the Father was about Calvinist doctrine, then that would create a bunch of contradictions in the other parts of the Bible. So if John 6, 44 doesn't teach or prove Calvinism, then what's the true meaning of the verse? Well, Jesus said, no man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. And what Jesus said here is true, because without God's enabling us to accept him, then we couldn't come to Jesus. We are only able to be saved from our sins because of God's invitation. And this matches up with what he said later on in that chapter in verse 65, and he said, therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my Father. Jesus once again teaches that we're only able to come to him and be saved because of the enabling of God. And because of all the debate about John 6:44, it's making a lot of people miss out on a major emphasis from this verse, because it's not about who's able to be saved, but rather the fact that Jesus is referring to God as his Father and saying that God sent him, because the Jews understood that for Jesus to call God his Father, then he was making himself equal with God, which was a claim to deity. And this is something that he also did in the chapter before, where John comments that Jesus said also that God was his Father, making himself equal with God. So in John 6, 44, Jesus was not teaching limited atonement or irresistible grace or any other of the Calvinist teachings, but rather that we're able to be saved through God's enabling, that God was his Father, and that Jesus was God. And these people will be raised up at the last day, meaning that they were eternally secure. For more Bible studies about why Calvinism is a false teaching, then check out these videos. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more biblical teaching like this.